You know, I, I think it's fairly well known that, um, that Senator McCain, Senator Graham, and I met with Ambassador Rice, uh, and we also met with the um, acting CIA director, Morrell, uh, together uh, to talk about this issue because we've been quite vocal about the issue. And I, I you know, I, I didn't frankly get an answer that was clear to me why she went beyond the talking points. And it's important to understand how she went by the, beyond the talking points. I actually have the talking points with me here today. Um, you know, they're, they're quite brief. You won't see any reference in these talking points, by the way, to a heinous and offensive video. That's actually not in the talking points. Go back and look at that. Um, what she said that went beyond the talking points, here's what troubled me. When we went into the meeting with Ambassador Rice, she I was left with the impression before the meeting, maybe because how it had been portrayed by the president's spokesman, uh, by the media, that she was simply taking talking points made by the intelligence community and then repeating those talking points as to what had happened in Benghazi on the shows, on behalf of the White House. I mean, she was sent on behalf of the White House on all of those shows. And two things when I came out of the meeting that bothered me. Um, and Number one is that she, in her capacity as the ambassador to the UN, which is a very important position of significant responsibility, receives the daily intelligence briefings, including the daily intelligence briefing that did say individuals with ties to Al Qaeda were involved with the attack on our embassy, excuse me, our consulate. And so the Al Qaeda piece was in that. The attack piece was in it. That didn't end up in here, and that's another whole question which needs to be fully clarified. Um, and we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it, and I think that will come forward and is coming forward, more information about the talking points, changes made by the CIA and the FBI, and, and why were they were made along a chain of command. In fact, the CIA has said that they're going to produce a report about that as to the talking points and where the changes were made. But. She then went on the talking on the Sunday shows anyway and didn't reference Al Qaeda because her explanation is that that was classified, that we weren't going to, we've got a lot of different explanations of why that is the case. We want to protect the investigation. That's one of the things that needs to be answered. That said, when you go on the Sunday shows and then you start talking about the attack being a response to a heinous and offensive video, and you don't mention the Al-Qaeda piece. But what you do say is Al-Qaeda has been decimated. That leaves a very misleading impression to the American people, just based on everything that's contained in the intel daily intelligence briefing. Al-Qaeda has not been decimated. We knew that there were individuals with ties to Al-Qaeda who had been in involved in this attack. And so to go on and say that Al-Qaeda has been decimated is really of deep concern to me, especially knowing that individuals with ties to Al-Qaeda are involved in the attack on the consulate.